And we're learning more about an alleged human trafficking ring recently busted here in Los Angeles. Investigators say it was a family business that preyed upon vulnerable women from Mexico. One of the alleged criminal masterminds, the family grandmother, is believed to still be in hiding. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes. We've seen the stories and the crackdowns and the arrests, but human trafficking continues to haunt California. The latest stats show the Golden State had the highest number of cases with the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Even when adjusted for population, California is still the ninth highest state in the country. And the damage is costly. You're depriving someone of all of their liberties, their identity. It truly is a heinous crime. Ventura County Sheriff's Detective Ernan Houdigui and Detective Catherine Torres are with the county's Human Trafficking Task Force. Earlier this month, they took nearly a half a year's worth of investigation and brought down a ring of six brothels. Within those sex shops, 10 women, many of whom investigators say were brought in from Mexico and coerced into selling their bodies. Traffickers always want to target vulnerable people, so people who are homeless, people who have kids, but maybe they can't get a job. Especially right now with the pandemic occurring, a lot of people are out of jobs and they need money. Detectives say some of the brothels ran around the clock in places like Oxnard and Port Wyneme, Riverside and San Bernardino counties, all disguised to look like legitimate businesses. Massage parlors, spa treatment centers, whatever guys that doesn't really require much certification really is what they go for. Investigators say this is one of the massage parlors that was busted in that human trafficking ring. It's in Oxnard, but they say the whole organization was run by a family in the Inland Empire. The mom was possibly the uh matriarch and the head of the organization in the beginning. That mom said to be this woman, 47-year-old Olga Perennis of Colton. She was arrested in the sting. Detectives say she brought her brother Carlos Perennis into the business, as well as her own daughter, Olga Ramirez, and a nephew, Jaime Vasquez. So far, eight people have been taken into custody, facing a litany of charges. Human trafficking, pimping, pandering, conspiracy. But still on the loose, the family's grandmother, who allegedly directed the operations and ran the finances. We have reason to believe that she's down in Mexico. Detectives say that makes it harder for them to arrest her. But for now, the ring is down, the women are getting counseling and help, and the sign in the window here hopefully is right. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.